Hi hey everyone, it's Angus here. I just wanted to make a video um, on a different way that I sometimes use TradingView that you know some of you might not have seen. Um, you know, TradingView is this amazing charting program that most of you know. You know, there's some great communities that you know people hang out in. You know, within the TradingView site, um, you know, there's a whole bunch of people who you know chart using different methodologies. You know, it doesn't matter if you're using forex or crypto or stocks or you know just about any any type of investment that you want to you know, get into, there's a good chance that there's probably a chart somewhere that someone's made um, on TradingView already. But what I wanted to show you is just a way, a different way of using the site that, you know, most people might not have seen. Um, TradingView is obviously an incredibly powerful site. The more you learn, the more you get into it. And um, there's always, you know, new things that, you know, might help you in your trading. So um, what I want to do is I'm just on the home page. I'm just going to open up a chart. And so I've already done that. I've opened up a new tab up here. Um, and you can see that all I've done is I've just very simply said, well, let's add, um, you know, some moving averages. So I've got my 20 day, my 50 day, my 100 day. You know, I've made videos before on how to add those. And you can see that I've got my volume profile. I've got my RSI. You know, I, I, I like to use the RSI to see if a stock is um, overbought or oversold. And more so, I like to see if there's momentum in the stock. I use it more of a momentum type indicator. Um, the other thing I like to have is an OBV with a, um, a a moving average across the top of it. I have a 14-day moving average because all I want to do is I just want to see if buyers or sellers are in charge. So if the green line's above the red, I think that's a good thing. Um, I like to see the RSI moving up, you know, probably above 55 and moving up. And it's always good, you know, again, if you see that the volume is, you know, doing something a bit unusual. So um, in this particular shares, or you know, you know ETF, I guess, um, it was a it was a tip that was given to me by a um, uh, a trader on the um, uh, on the stocks community within TradingView, and so I managed to get in here at around about four dollars ninety nine somewhere. Um, I don't know if you can see this you know where my mouse is at the moment, but it tells me you know I can see, because I'm buying it through TradeStation, I can physically see what my buy price is, I can see what my stop loss is, um, and I can see you know that, that you know it's obviously moved up quite well. It's crossed above its um, 20 day moving average and it's crossed above its 50 day moving average. Um, and, you know, the whole thing could turn around in an instant, but, you know, for the moment it's doing quite well. So um, the point of it is that just, you know, go and set up a chart that you like to look at. So whether you've got Bollinger Bands, you know, it doesn't matter how you trade, um, but put something on your chart that, you know, you'd like to look at because we're going to open up a whole bunch of stocks in a second. Right, so what I want to do is I want to create a new watch list. So I simply click on the down arrow here. A few things have moved around a bit, but I'm going to say uh, watch list um, 13th of um, May uh, 2021. And I tend to just keep these for a couple of days. Then I you know, keep an eye on the stocks that are in them, then I delete them. So I'm going to go save. So I'm just going to then save my chart setup it's just by clicking on the little cloud up here. And so everything is now kind of set up how I'd like to have it. So I'm going to go back across to um, the um, uh, home page, and I just want to show you what I can do now. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm going to try and look for um, industries and sectors and stocks within them that might be having a bit of a run. So this is a very good way of finding bubbles that are sort of coming through um, within your trading environment. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on uh, Markets. And I'm going to go down to stocks because that's what I like. But you can see you can do the same thing with, you know, crypto or, you know, different things. But I'm going to go to stocks and I'm going to go down to sector and industry. I'm going to click on that. And if you trade different markets, you know, if you trade the ASX in Australia, if you trade, you know, China or, you know, Germany or Hong Kong, you know, whatever market you trade, you can simply just change the drop down. And so let's stick with the US market for now. And so what it does, it tells me um, here's all the sectors and here's all the industries. And so what I always do is I go to this performance button and you can see here that it tells you, you know, what the current change percent is, you know, in the last day of trading, um, it tells you the one week, one month, three month, six month, year to date and yearly performance. So you can click on the yearly performance and just see um, what particular sectors have been running, you know, reasonably well lately. Um, and so over the last 12 months, you know, consumer durables, you know, non-energy minerals. They both had a, you know, very good, you know, 100% plus type run. But what we're more interested in seeing is what's coming along right now. You know, what, what are the things that are running right at the moment? So given the market's just getting beaten up, you know, the NASDAQ, I think, was down another 
couple of percent last night and you know there's a lot of stuff that's selling off so you can see that if i look at what happened last night you can see that energy minerals were up a little bit um, but over one week pretty much everything is down but these ones here are down the least um, and if you're an oversold you know type of trader you can say well these consumer durables are probably the ones that have been sold off the most you know in terms of um in terms of uh, sectors right at the moment so it's just sort of gives you a little bit of an idea as to what might be um running you know reasonably well and you know in a bull market you know these are all you know you know plus one plus two plus three plus four plus five type percents and you know some of these are you know a couple of hundred percent so it's just an interesting way to see what's hot at the moment um, but what i tend to do is i tend to go to industry um, and so this is a you know within each of these um uh, sectors you can see if i click on say i don't know pick on commercial services so i'll open up a new tab and you can see that within commercial services there's a whole bunch of sub industries within commercial services but so what i want to do is i want to go straight to um straight to my industries from the, uh, the from the top level so i'm going to go back up here I'm going to go to industries and you can see here oh, companies i'm on companies at the moment so i'm going to go back up here so I'm back on my sectors, I'm going to go to industry, right? And so you can see, I'm going to go and do the same thing. I'm going to click on performance. I'm going to say what went well last night or comparatively well. So it's saying, you know, in all the downturn of everything else, oil was up last night. So, you know, that's kind of interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up oil in a new tab. I'm going to go through and have a look at some of the oil stocks. Um, I'm going to have a look at the one week change and see what's been going reasonably well through the last one week. And so coal's up. So I'm going to click on open coal in a new tab. And you can see they're opening up the top of my screen. Um, I'm going to go one month change. I'm going to see what was running. So again, coal's up there. So coal's got my interest. You can see that coal's been having a, a reasonably good run, you know, you know, lately for whatever reason. Um, you can see the three month performance. So, you know, electronics and appliance stores. I'm going to open up that. I'm going to open up aluminium. I'm going to open up steel going to open up marine shipping because they've all had a reasonably good three month type return right so now that i've opened up a few industries that i like the look of um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to shut that and i'm going to now have a look at oil so i'm going to go performance and i'm going to say this is a one minute change a five minute change a 15 minute change a one hour change a four hour change you know basically the last day's trading change a one week a one month a three month and a six month performance so I'm going to say let's start off at the six month performance just to see what's been doing particularly well over the last um, six months. So 143% gain. So I'm going to open up PBF, just right click and open a new tab. Uh, Where's, and I only do it for, you know, let's say the, the top couple of stocks at each sort of level because I'm really just going to skim through the graphs so you can see PBF and Wes are still doing well. PBF and this one here, Targa's doing reasonably well. Um, one week. So TGS is sort of interesting, but you know it hasn't had a good performance overall, so I'm not really interested in that one. Right, and CVI was up eight and a half last night, so I'm going to open up him. I'm going to open up VLO. Um, I might open up TGS. He's just not exciting; like he hasn't done much. You know, he's he hasn't had much of a run. So now that I've dealt with that, I'm going to close that, and so you can see I've now got my chart. So PBF Energy. So you can see that I can see on my chart here. You know, it's had a fairly good run. It's had a pullback. It's coming back up. I can highlight over here, and I can see that this guy managed to pick a, a good spot to buy before it moved. Um, so that's um, Cape Peninsula Capital. And again, these two guys here, P. Watt and the Laf, you know, managed to pick a fairly good little run there. So I'm going to go full featured chart. You can see here too, if you look at the technicals, um, you know, it's saying that it's you know, it's not an exciting buy, but it's a bit of a buy. You can see other people's ideas here. I'm going to go full feature chart. I'm going to close that previous tab. And so you can see here, you know, it's gone up reasonably well. You know, it's above my 50. It's above my 20. Um, you know, it's past its earnings, so it must have had a reasonable good earnings period. Um, nothing sort of terribly exciting. Um, you know, it's not necessarily, you know, maybe it's got a, you know, through a bit of a resistance area here. And if I just sort of draw a line that sort of, you know, shows the different highs and lows, you might want to wait. You could, you know, see if it comes down and test that any further. I might look at that, you know, if I if I put in a stop order, let's say, 
I don't know, $16.70 to, you know, make sure it confirmed direction and continue to go up, you know, could be one to look at. Um, if I click on my one year button, you can see it's up 61% for the year. It's still quite a long way down from, you know, previous highs. So, you know, maybe there's an opportunity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. I'm going to go add to my watch list that I set up over here. So I'm just going to keep an eye on this and, you know, see if anything interesting happens with it. Um, I could right click here and go add alert at, let's say, 1676. Yeah, you know, not, not for any good reason, but it's just something I picked. And I'm going to go show a pop-up, send an email, and I'm going to go create. So what I'll do is if that if that stock heads in the right direction, I'll get an email to say, you know, come and have another look at it. So I don't really have to keep an eye on it. So let's shut him down. Uh, let's just go save it. Close it. All right, the next one was Wes, Western Midstream Partners. So, you know, that's the sort of chart that I like to, you know, buy a bit more where it's in a nice steady uptrend. Um, you know, this guy here managed to pick the top. So, you know, that was Lee Laff, the same guy as last time. Um, and Tire Plot, TA Plot, you know, has has picked a better entry on this one. Um, the technicals is, again, you know, sort of neither here nor there. So we'll click on Full Featured Chart to have a bit of a closer look at it. Um, so again, another stock that's, you know, had a much, much stronger upside. Um, you know, it's been punished somewhere through this period here. You know, the March sell-off last year in 2020 with COVID. Um, it's above its 20-day um, moving average, which I like. It's pulling back sort of closer to that. It's past its earnings, which is a good sign. So, you know, I don't have to worry about earnings volatility for another period of time. The RSI has had a big dip. The OBV shows that, you know, some of the volume is coming out of it. Um, so, you know, yesterday it had a, you know, it was down 1% against the greater market, which isn't a big deal. So again, with this one, I'll probably say, um, let's add it to my watch list. And I'll go and say, let's say if it gets up to, again, you can sort of see, you know, if you look at your support and resistance type points, you know, he's, he's probably doing okay. So he's through, you know, that sort of previous high over there. You can see it's touched through there a few times. It's come back. It's tested it. You know, I would have thought that could have been quite a, you know, good opportunity to let it run. Um, but as I said, the whole market had a bit of a wobbly. So, um, you know, here's a, here's a stock that I'll keep an eye on. Again, I might set an alert to say if he goes back up to, let's say, I don't know, 21 something, uh, add alert, and I'll create an alert if he goes up. So that's that one. So let's go and save it and close it. Let's have the charts still there when I come back to it. So CVI, so again, full featured chart, close the old page, have a bit of a look. It's above my 50. You know, you can see that looks like the um, the 20 days starting to try and cross the 50, which is sometimes bullish. Again, another stock that's, you know, a long way down from where he was. He's also past earnings. Um, not doing a whole lot, but, you know, I, I'm not terribly excited by that. But if it got up to, let's say, Maybe 24, I'd, I'd be more interested in it. So let's go add alert to 24. Go create. And so, you know, none of these I'm, you know, sitting here thinking I'm going to race out and buy them. But I'd, I'll keep an eye on them and just see how they go. You can see that the RSI is starting to point up. You can see that the volume is starting to point up. Um, you know, so, you know, there might be a bit of action on it at some stage. So, again, um, if you don't want to right click, you can just hit Alt W and Alt W is the short shortcut for bookmarking. See how it's got Alt W there next to add to watch list. So, you know, that's a good way of doing it. Um, and let me just check my time remaining on my video. I'm up to 13 minutes. I'll put him over here so I don't delete it accidentally or close that window. Um, so, you know, CVI looks okay. So I'll close him down. Um, Valero Energy, again, you know, looks like it's sort of pushing all time new highs. Or certainly in the recent period. Well, again, you can see it's another stock that's been, you know, sold down over the last period of time. Again, very similar, similar sort of chart setup. Um, had a nice green day yesterday, so it was up two point nine against the you know market that was you know really getting beaten up. I like there's a bit of extra volume that's pointing up, that's pointing up. So he's definitely one that I'd like to you know have a close look at. So I'm going to set a closer alert. So I might say if he gets to something like eighty dollar twenty five, I might be a player. So click create. And so all I'm trying to do is I'm trying to say that I, I don't want to buy these unless the trend's heading in my favour. Um, you know, this person here had a nice call. So, you know, Balaji, well done. You know, he, he picked that run quite well. And, of course, you can click on that idea. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but it'll pop up 
you know, and show you the analysis that he was looking at when he bought that particular stock. So it can be a good way to find um, people who are making the right calls as well. You know, this guy, you know, called a short and, um, you know, got it right as well. So, you know, it's just a nice way of seeing, you know, who else is trading these particular equities that you're interested in and, you know, how, how good their calls are. So VLO, so I'll W. Um, he's probably the one that I'm more interested in of all these other ones so far. Bit of a resistance area through there. So that's why I'm hoping that um, if I draw my little line across there, so and that's why I'm sort of saying that I wouldn't enter until I saw that he'd broken above that, you know, a bit a bit further. All right, shut that, oh, I've already shut that one down. All right, so those are the ones that I've just dealt with for um, that particular sector. So now I'm going to go and look at coal. So I'm going to go performance. Um, same deal, you know, let's see what the six month performance was like. So, you know, BTU is doing quite well. And you can see, you know, I often will just look for the ones that are green the whole way along the line. So you can see a 500% return, 84% return, 80% in um, flat month over one month, you know, 30% uh, return over one week. So I'm going to definitely have a look at him. So I'm going to go open a new tab. And I can do something too where I can say, well, let's go and add a, um, a section um, and let's call this one coal. We'll call this one coal, coal. So I can then start to go through and say, um, well, this that one looks pretty good on the coal. So let's go and open him up, which I've already done. Um, let's have a look at CEIX. I shouldn't have clicked on it. I was meant to opening a new tab. Um, so uh, performance, six months performance. So BTUE, CIX, HNIG, and Eric will have a quick look at those. Let's see what's happening over the last one week. So BTU is still up there. Um, AMR is not doing too badly. So I'm going to close the coal one down and just have a look at these. So full featured chart. BTU, I, I think he's probably too far away from my moving averages. His RSI is too high. So with this particular one, in this case, what I'd want to do is I'd want it to pull back a fair way. So I'd actually say on my RSI, and again, this is just how I trade, I'll right click, and I'll go add an alert on my RSI, and only let me know when it crosses back down to say 65, which I think is a, a better sort of value area. So when it gets down to 65, I'll have another look at him, but at the same time, I'll still add him to here. I just think it's, he's probably had too much of a run, probably the same as this one. You know, again, he's a long way away from my moving averages. Um, RSI is pointing down. So um, I might sort of say with this one, same sort of deal. Um, what's his RSI at the moment? His RSI is 68. Um, you know, I think he's probably better to come down and test support back around this $12.25 type mark. So I'm going to go add alert, uh, $12, make it $12.25 and go create. And all I've done is I've just simply looked across the line there and said, well, that was where he got up to before. He's broken through that. He might come and retest it and, you know, see where he goes from there. But at the same time, I might also say, well, I also want to know if he goes up to here. So if he goes up and let's say, and he gets back up to 1357, then also send me an alert. So I can say send me an alert when he comes down to a better value area, but also send me an alert if he looks like he's about to turn around and run again because he has had some really good volume through here and he is past earnings. So again, I'll W to add him. And... I've got 18 minutes, so I have a 20 minute video. So all I wanted to try and show you is that this is just a different way to perhaps look at some of the stocks, um, you know, within TradingView and try and find, you know, just visually, you know, what products might be coming through, you know, which ones might be of interest. Um, aluminium, if we have a look at the um, performance of, you know, companies flagged as aluminium, again, you know, it's not doing particularly well you know, very recently, but you can see over the last six months, you know, some of these, you know, Alcoa has been performing well. So I'd probably open up Alcoa, I'd open up ACH. Um, I'll move on to steel, you know, steel's you know, obviously in demand at the moment. And so again, we'll go three months. You can see, you know, TMST's, you know, up over 144%. Zeus is up over 116. Let's see what happened over the last week. You know, USAP, you know, is up there. TMST is still up there change over last night so SYNL did quite well so all I'm doing is I'm opening up these um, marine and shipping industry performance three month performance um, 162 so I have a look at him um, 84 I'll have a look at him what happened last night uh, you know in yesterday's trading so PSX I'll have a look at him 
I've already got that one open. So as I said, it's just a different way to be able to look at um, what industries and sectors are, are running fairly well on the market. And it just might be a different way for you to, you know, try and trade.